Don't even play with me. Get the whole... <laughs> oh, oh my god, I got a KO from the top. Oh, what a hit! Hello, everybody, and welcome to WWE 2K24 My GM Mode Season 3, Week 6, as we are uh, on our way to our second PLE. We are just getting out of Backlash here on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. We had a lot of fun with our PLE. We have crowned three new champions in uh, Dijak winning the men's title. Uh, we now have Johnny Gargano as our Intercontinental Champion. And then we also have as women's tag team champions, the team of uh, Cora Jade and uh, Big Giant Jody. Jobber Jody, I think is where we got to go with here. So, but yeah, we're, we crowned some new champions. We got to get, we got to go forward here and try to get towards our next PLE. But there's also another gift that I'm hoping that we could get this week. If we don't get it this week, we'll get it next week. But I want to see if we could try and get it this week because the number of fans that we're getting, we are falling behind big time. We are currently 90. 93,000 fans behind our buddies over at Raw. So once they start catching up on Hall of Fame trophies, we are going to be sunk. So I need to get my gear, button gear, and get some uh, get some good matches booked here. So with that being said, let's get in here, book this card, and I'll show you what I want to try and do here. If we can do it this week. If not, we're going to do it next week. load her up we are four weeks away from hell in the cell have your least mo least popular star for a match this week that's good oh that network special is going to be good we need to definitely do that who's our weakest star there's a popular okay so we're going to get Cotter involved here he's full strength we might work on doing some tag team champions. We got Lurch here. I love Lurch. I, I, I love these random guys that come in and wa just want to work. All right. So the goal I want to do here, actually, if I can, is get the stadium, which is $450,000. Now, right now I have four hundred and eighty. dollars So... I could do this if I only get 39,000 left. It's going to leave me struggling for next while. Time to feed the champ. I think we might do so. We might pull that card, but I did promise. How can you tell how many assets you have? If you look on the above the, like right now I have the, the stadium highlighted. You have the assets listed right up there. Uh, currently, I have eight assets. You gain one every week. Like, you add one every week. So, for example, if I wanted to, I could go for site cheaper, like an expert crew. It would take five assets, so therefore, it would take me another five weeks to get this uh, stadium. I want to get this stadium. Then I could work on the other stuff to improve the show. But getting asses and seats is the biggest thing for me right now. We could do the uh, the, net, the network special effects for an extra 4,000 fans. But for me, I, I like I said, the stadium for me increasing by 10,000 and then an extra 50 cents a ticket. To me, that is where the money is. So I promised you guys a title match for the main event. So we are going to do that. So currently, I'm just going to book it as a regular match. I want to see how I can book this without costing us too much here. So for our opener, thinking maybe we, maybe we do the tag title match to get the, uh, to crown men's tag team champions here.
And this is where we can do Ilya and Connor. Who doesn't have a feud here? There we go. We will put this as a tag title match just because we need to get those titles out there. And I know Butler's hurting, but that's okay. The fact that we're going to crown new champions is actually going to be a good thing. Let's see what Dijak's energy is before we get too stupid here. Oh, I can't use Dijak. He's doing that special trading this week. So, unfortunately, we can't sacrifice our new guy to the Wolves here. Yeah. So, what I'll actually do with him is I'll probably stick him in a promo tonight. What I might do here tonight just for... JC's got a ton of stamina. Ivy. So they already fought at the PLE, so I don't want to go too crazy there. Let's go. Let's get the new guy in action here. Put him against Austin. Just a regular match, nothing crazy. Like I said, tonight's card is not gonna be over the top special. Might even do a triple threat here. Who do I have left? And like I said, I wanna save as much stamina as I can as we go. Oh, well, there we go. I think we have our... Why not see if we could get a singles feud going here? No interference, no nothing there. So that'll be good booking. That is good booking. We got a tag, we got a single, we got a triple threat, and we have our main event title match. That would be 25. Uh, I think we might be able to get away with this. Let's see what we can do for promos. But I think we might be able to get away with this without... Without being too nuts here. Oh, let's go with a tag team call out. We'll get the champs calling out the challengers. That will cost three grand. Who could we use to... Gargano putting himself over his champ. And then... Charity promo, Ivy. So, what do you guys think? Like, I want to throw this out to you guys as a thought here. This card looks pretty much set. And actually, what I'm going to do to make this make sense, have the champions call out since both challengers are there. Looks like a good card. Okay. So I think I could actually spend the money on the... Let's see what we got for power cards available. The bigger they are, one falls count anywhere match. The injury rehab, do I have... I got plenty of AG Rehab cards. A Screw Your Neighbor card I don't need right now. The Bigger They Are card. 72 grand, no way. All right. 
This could either royally screw us or this could be royally amazing. We're gonna see how this goes. <sighs> this is gonna be interesting. So I literally have nobody for anything else right now. So looks like that's what we're gonna be doing for our cards, kids. Nothing else we could do here. Can we screw our neighbors a little bit? Bad police. Oh God, that would be fun. Well, we'll use that later. Beginner's luck. Nope, I don't want to use that on Boston. To the moon. Is there somebody I want to boost their popularity? Well, Lurch is only here for 10 weeks. I'm going to hang on to this for right now. I want to get the lay of the lad, see how things go. But I think we got this. Two title matches. Everybody matches up well. Do I have a pre-match physio card I could use? No. That's the only card I would actually want to use in this case. Nah, Lorenzo's the only one that I don't have available, so. All right, I think we're good here. All the world hates a coward. Let's go. Let's go see what everybody else is booked here. Jab packed opener tag team match. Ronda Rousey, Piper Niven versus Liv and Candace. One, two, it's over. Of course, Ronda never loses. Three star match, rivalry grows, go figure. Your rivalry grows, go figure. They got zero in the game. They got zero in the game. Popularity 29. I am finding a way to steal zero sometime in the next trades. That's like I gotta remind myself, because he should not be facing Logan Paul. One, two, bring it. Which, by the way, I do have a prime energy drink that I'm drinking tonight. I'll be honest, tastes like garbage. I wanted to try it out, just because it's the Canadian version. Ring XP6, excellent. Indy Hartwell, Tiffany Stratton. Three-star match. All right, you guys are doing well. MVP, doing okay. Kofi, does Woods get double pay for this? Kingston and Woods taking on the Miz at Ivar. No titles on the line. Wait, running by Wade Barrett. Miz at Ivar win. Barrett and Woods level one. All right, WCW, what kind of disaster are you guys doing? Tag title opener, McIntyre Almas versus Booker T and Adrian Buck. They're basically copying us now. Drew McIntyre injured for two weeks. <laughs> Sucks to be you, my Irish friend. Scottish friend. Sorry, I get shot for that. Ty Schmidt tried to put himself over. Fails miserably. Tommaso Ciampa and Honky Tonk Man in a submission match. I don't know if I've ever seen Honky Tonk throw a submission on his life. One, two, that's three. Ring the bell. Apparently he did. Chad, are you seeing what I'm seeing here? Are you seeing what I'm seeing here? Rivalry grows level one to level three. What the hell is that? Damn! All right, well, Precious Silver is not precious on the mic. Sheamus and Roman Reigns in an Extreme Rules match. That would be fun to watch. Hopefully it lasts longer than 5 minutes and 15 seconds. 
All right, he's getting his feuds up. I'll give him that. He's getting every feud over here. And backstage brawl for their main event. Alexa and Raquel for the women's title. Let's go. Alexa Bliss, your new women's champion. That's pretty awesome right there. All right, we got Raw coming up here. World title match in the opener. Shinsuke and Gable. Let's go. Shinsuke retains. Three-star match, okay. GG. Ah, she got one over. That's okay. Jerry Atchin versus John... S He's got Cena? These guys are picking up people. One, two, that's three. The Cena wins, of course. Isla calls out GG, which that's a level four, so it don't matter. David Broad versus R Truth at LA Knight. R Truth at LA Knight. LA Knight out to the PLE. <laughs> That sucks. Uh, a guy named Silence. Thank you, Zodiac, for that. Uh, Silence doing a promo. I, I don't think that's going to work. Maybe it's just me. Bianca Belair, Molly Holly. Women's title, main event. Bianca Belair, new champion in a four-star match. Wow, these guys are knocking it out of the park. All right, time to see what we got here. Opening matchup for our... Oh, the titles are on the line because there's no champion here. Ilya Dragunov, Boston Cotter, taking on Zami Zayn and Darius Butler. Let's do her to her. Look at that stadium. Look at that state. We got fans. We got backgrounds. We got entrances. This is awesome. This is the epitome of we are here to show everything off. We are here to all in. So we got to wait one more cycle of uh, matches so we can upgrade our next one, whatever it is. Hopefully we have enough money to do it. I'm assuming since we booked nothing Outside of two title matches, nothing, spe nothing spectacular. I'm hoping that we're able to uh, retain a certain amount of money that we're going to be able to use here. Boston looks like like a this guy looks like a total nerd. Like it's gonna be interesting to see how how this gets ranked out. 
because we have nothing special i don't think we're gonna get much above a three star on most of this stuff but the fact that we are getting a title change in this matchup because no matter what one of these two teams has to win the title I love this crowd. Go, Sammy, go! I'm, I'll be honest, I would love to see the heels win the title tonight. Just because Darius is a little injured. I guess if we don't even use, we don't need to really put the titles on the line that much. But as long as we have a title match and two champions. But I've been trying to get Zayn and Dragunov into a feud so much that it just hasn't... Hasn't culminated anything. And this entire crowd is just booing the hell out of Darius. Like, to me, that's the most hilarious part about this right now. Nobody wants to see you. Ah. But yeah, we got four really solid matches here. I I don't want to push the uh, the IC title feud. I'd like to get it to the next PLE. Because that might be the hell the cell match we want to go with. between Theory and Gargano. All right, here we go. Tag titles on the line. I don't even know which referee that is. Looks like Mr. No Day referee tonight. So because of the tag title match, it might take a little bit longer to get through this through this match because of having to do a regular match. But I have to say, if you didn't get a chance to watch uh, Collision and Battle of the Belts tonight. This is one of those very few times where I'll recommend going to watch it. Because this is the first time in a very long time that it feels like there's actual story behind everything that's going on there. There's nothing that's just randomly thrown together and hope it sticks for the upcoming big show that's coming up. boss did I see you but yeah I'm still flipping stoked about how Anna Jay's get that shot in two and they're instantly giving her the shot in two weeks
Just seems like everything is just lining up into place way so much here. So I really wanted to set this up as a final feud here between these two just to see if I could. But it seems like Darius and Ilya got that feud, so that's probably gonna be the one we're gonna have to we're gonna have to go with. Nice drop kick! just a one count. I think that was a little premature for that one. Beautiful DDT there, just... Now, Dragunov has to be a little upset right now with the fact that he asked for a world title match and I told him to stick it. It also means that I'm probably going to have to work on setting him. Dragon might be one of the guys I send out. As much as I love him. Number one, he doesn't produce any feuds. Now, he's just got one with Darius finally. And he's going to be grouchy now for a while. The only consolation prize I'm going to get is if he wins this. All right, nice shot, Boston. Oh, Ilya with a reversal here. Ilya, stop playing with your food. Because you know if, if he makes that tank to Sammy, you're going to be in big trouble, right? Oh, there's the fire up. Torpedo Moscow. Sammy's going to come break it up. Yep. No. Butler just said, no, I'm going to break this up myself. Tag Team Wrestling. Yes, please give me a 10-star match out of this. Double atomic drop, that'll hurt. Or a Manhattan drop as... Uh, Skiovani was using today. <laughs> nice drop kick. You might want to tag Darius. You've been beating up pretty good here. Little double team maneuver again. Oh my goodness. A little uh, tag team cohesion here. Actually, a little bit surprised, to be honest. Gut buster there. Both guys are split open. Perfect plex. Sammy goes in for the DET.
Oh, blocked. Okay, drop kick was blocked. Little leg rigger there. For those just popping in here, welcome. Uh, we're uh, in week six of our uh, season three GM mode here. The fallout from backlash. This is our. This is to crown our first WWE Tag Team Champions. Ilya Dragunov and Boston Cotter taking on Darius Butler and Sami Zayn. Ilya's pissed because Darius beat it, beat him last at the PLE, but settles the score by getting the win here in a very weird finish. So the two guys I did not expect. Well, I didn't expect Boston to win, but. All right, what kind of score are we gonna get out of this though? Ugh. All right, we're gonna get a poor booking on this one. I knew we were gonna take a bit of an L on this, but. I didn't think it'd be that bad. 37.50? Okay, that's okay. All right, our debuting Lurch Evans going to be taking on Austin Theory. Austin's just pissed for the fact that he didn't win the... Uh, the Intercontinental Championship against Johnny Gargano last week. Wanted to get a little bit of revenge out. The new guy wanted a match. And I know this won't create a rivalry, so after this, Lurch is going to probably get a shot at uh, Dijak here next week. Well, hell, if he wins, he's definitely going to get that no matter what. What an outfit. Get Ninety stack. Seattle, in at pounds. Evans. Yeah, he's got the die check entrance and everything. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> The only thing that might help me here is if this ends up being a one and a half star match. Which it very well could be. If that happens, we are going to be laughing all the way to the bank on this one. Watch this be like a four star. You know Theory's doing some good work, him and uh, Grayson Waller with A-Town Down Under when they're given the task to make the Motor City Machine Guns look good. And the fun part is they didn't even eat the pin. It was that triple threat match with Los Garza. But that match next Friday on SmackDown is going to be absolutely insane. We got uh, DIY taking on CMW. Which, by the way, the machine guns got robbed on the uh, the machine guns absolutely got robbed on an entrance to music. Another Death Rebel uh, 
expertise, I think is the best way to put it. And when I mean expertise, I really don't. All right, for those not familiar with Lurch here, Lurch actually showed up last week the same way that uh, Trent Shaw did for us uh, last season. Just randomly showed up and said, I want a shot. I'll work for free. So I said, sure, why not? And uh, yeah, we stuck a bit with Gunther. Ends up winning the world title in three weeks and carried it all the way till week 23, I do believe. Because after his first rival, he couldn't find a second one for him, so. We ended up having to go with a Stax Argus uh, tread triple threat, and then Argus won the title there. He got the rematch at Mania. Ended up losing. Nice elbow for the top. Right down on the arm there. I'm really surprised. The Theory's got to do some work here. But the stamina theory could also have something to do with this tonight, right? Oh my god, nice T-bone suplex there. Nice elbow to the back. Theory reverses it into a reverse DDT. All right, time to finish him off, Theory. Just a one count. Are we going for it? Oh my goodness. That's gotta be it. Two and a half. All right, fire up theory. Time to finish this off. Like I said, this better not go to four or five stars or I will be pissed. Oh God. Yeah, no, Lurch is dead. Lurch should be dead. He's standing up right away. That's sad. Give me a count out. All right, three Germans. I like that. Are we going to get a double count out? Come on, ref. 
What a seven. Etel down on the outside. Oh, there we go. There we go. Nice count out. The cheesy win, but the win nonetheless. That's a theory win if I ever seen one. Couldn't beat him legally, so you had to do it by count out. Yes! Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, I still get the bell curve. Let's go! We still kept the bell curve. That's hilarious. All right. So he got himself up to popularity. That's good. Now this one here, JC, I wanted to get into a match. Both these ladies on the face side have a lot of stamina. They seem to be going through a lot of issues right now because they don't have the titles. They're very angry with each other. We might end up having to, uh, might have to turn one heel soon. We'll see how things go here, but. But I do want to get some face and heel turns done here. We do have to get them as part of our qualifications. The following contest is a triple threat match. Making her way to the So, if you guys did watch a week ago, Cora Jade asked for a triple threat match against uh, Thea and Nikita. Well, Thea, Thea ended up winning that. And JC being the former partner of Cora Jade, former tag team champion with Cora Jade, turned around and said, Athey, you can do, I can do better. So Cora Jade is looking to do the same thing here tonight. So we'll see. And her opponents first representing Chase New from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. But yeah, Thea, I want to try and see if I can upgrade her enough that we can start moving her around a little bit in terms of uh, maybe a class. Maybe get her some perks. Thea has been, if I didn't mention it before, she has been my official pet project of this show. But I do think tonight's episode is going to be called The Building's Nice. Just to be honest with everybody about what's going on here. Unless we get some real good... Unless we get some really good matches to end this show off. All right, Nikita, get ready here. Oh, here comes the audio. Absolutely horrible.
She's a dangerous woman in the background. Okay. All right, so a triple threat match here. JC Jade probably going to try and take advantage of both these competitors. But when you have two people that have just competed for the tag team titles together, I I'm assuming that the cohesion should be a little better here. Missed the elbow, got out of that corner, thank goodness. But you can see where the, the Z targeting is a little bit off of this game, which I don't mind. Just a little thing you gotta know about. And Thea's timing was absolutely great on that head scissors. You'd think Nikita would wanna take it a little easier on her tag partner. Down for the splash, go for the cover. Nice clothesline there, and oh, Thea doing the smart move here. That's why she's becoming the queen of the triple threats here. Just doing her best to get involved here as Splash takes them both out. But Jade back up to her feet right away here. I don't know what it is, but Thea's just... Just... Oh my goodness, what a slam. Oh, and a kick right to the face. Cover somebody. Jade's like dead. And it don't even mean a little bit. Oh my goodness, Thea. I, I really like to see what you do to your enemies. Quick cover, Jade's out of it. Oh, just a one count. Sweet neck breaker there. Nice. All right, here we go. Jade going up, trying to take advantage right now. Oh, see he gets out of it. Oh, needed the shot to the back of the knee there. Now Nikita has the kendo stick. Oh, right to the back of the head. JC didn't even see it coming. Nice sidekick over a cover. There's the finisher pin. Jade just a little bit too late. And this time Nikita picks up the victory. So Nikita earns her first singles victory here on SmackDown in a two-star match. This is not going well tonight. These matches are just, ugh. No singles rivalries either, so that sucks. Tag team call out. That worked out well. All right, time for our main event. This has to deliver. Shayna Baszler, Alba Fire, two people that don't like each other. World title match. Please give us a good match to end this. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the WWE Women's Championship.
course, Baszler's coming out first. I am going to have to flip Baszler. I think we're going to... It just makes more sense. Because, yeah, by the time we hit Ted, we're going to have to get, at least get two... We have to figure out where we're going to do our first two flips. Also, once this feud's done, we have to see where we're going with our next one, so... The one thing about tonight that I do know is we're not going to get much of a boost because it's just regular matches. They're not like normally you would do like a tornado or a, a tables match even. I don't think we had the proper money for it. So this was literally just let's get ourselves an arena. Alba in that coat, like seriously. That coat is a little thick. Just the first peerings of that coat just looks weird. But it's nice to see Alba with the title. If you guys need to get a chance to watch NXT UK, back when it was still a thing. Alba definitely was a great champion for them. Even going back to her days at uh, ICW as Kaylee Ray. Not to be confused with Kylie Ray. Baszler, no reaction. At least the graphic looks a little better when she's holding the title. She's even got the Alexa Bliss. Oh, by the way, we got the shot right there. That is definitely going to be the, uh, the thumbnail for this video. Elba's little title Alexa Bliss hold there. But generic referee number two is in charge of this match here tonight. Alba tried to go to the ropes early and Baszler have a nut of it. Now Baszler's a little extra upset here because she, she wanted to be a part of this pay-per-view, but unfortunately Alba was not able to make the show. What she doesn't know is Paul Heyman played a card so she wasn't allowed to make the show. Which I still say I'm a genius for what we did there on that. Baszler just unloading the lefts and rights here. So as we're getting into our main event, once again, I want to say thank you to everybody who stopped by here. Uh, we will be back here after Dynamite next Wednesday to record our next one. And on YouTube, it will be uh, that one will be available uh, coming up this Friday.
That reverse DDT on the knee there, turning into a bit of a shoulder breaker, back breaker. And Baszler just being merciless here. Oh, reversal to reversal. And a reversal. Referee can't even get a one count out of it. Basically turning Kaylee Ray into a, oh my God, Piper's pit. Don't win it off that. You do not win it off Ronda, Ronda Rousey's finishers. Cause that is uh, Ronda Rousey's non-submission finisher there. But Alba just seems to not be able to get out of the blocks here whatsoever. Spoke too soon, I think, but the extra shots got in here. Oh, look out! She hit it! Is that gonna be enough? The, the gory special there, just not enough to get rid of Baszler here. Missile drop kick off the top rope. Knee to the face. Alba's got to figure out how to do this here. Northern Light Suplex to the bridge. Once again, Alba thinking about going up to the top. Thought better of it. Now just looking to rip and tear at the eyes of Baszler. Baszler get Muscles her way out of it. Uh oh. Baszler getting the Germans. Uh oh, she is fired up now. We might be seeing that sleeper. Oh, uh, let's see what Ky Kylie got back with another drop kick, cutting her off of the pass. So the champion still got enough to retain here. It's a to the back of the head. Kylie feeling herself. Baszler blocking the way. Oh, Baszler reversal. Alba's got to be careful here. Any moment. Any moment. Snake eyes. Baszler could put on that Karafuda clutch and you're done. Just straight up, you're done. She hits that. Both these ladies head to the outside. Stretching out that knee. If you can't move, you can't work, right? Now the fire trying to maintain some control. Get get Baszler back in the ring, which might be one of the safest things in the world for her, but she's gonna have to mount some serious offense here because Baszler look Baszler looks ready. Oh, there we go. Fire once again getting getting a reversal in to get control back of this match here. Shot to the face, takes Takes Baszler down. Oh, what are we doing here? Spinning toe hold? And a shot to the knee there. Don't be fooled by the theatrics. Fire knows what she's doing to that rig. But Baszler, just the expert MMA athlete here. Go for the ground and pound over the top. Those shots she thinks might be enough. Oh. Fire. Oh, nice. Head scissors takedown. Baszler looks like she's on loopy lane right now. Hair mare takedown. What's fire got planned here? 
Fallout suplex. Going up to the top rope. Could this be it? There it is. Swan, Todd, Bob. And fire retains. What a great match here. Alba Fire victorious here in our main event on SmackDown. And a four star match. Yeah, 30 bucks of. Oh. Sorry, Keats. <laughs> uh, four star match. Everything else was trash. I love it. Uh, Fire Basler level three. That's where we want. This will probably be our Hell in the Cell match for the PLE. For the Women's Championship, Hell in the Cell. Uh, yeah, great way to finish off the card. After the crap that we did earlier, I this might be the one redeeming story out of it. But speaking of the reports, let's go take a look at them. We still got a good booking. That was a fire main event. <laughs> And yeah, Hell in the Cell is our next PLE coming up in four weeks. Uh, it just seems apropos to have Alba Fire and Hell in a Cell. It just it, it writes itself. We just got to make sure we work our way to it so it's level four. Let it simmer. Get some other people involved here. I want to see here. Butler's down to 27 energy, so we are going to have to give him some time off. No rivalries. Uh, this one's still level two, which is okay. That's a level three. So we do have some singles rivalries that are there. All right, you have yourself a great night. We are going to raid out here right after we wrap up the show here as we get the final results and see what's going on next week. So let's take a look at the other guys. Good booking. Level four, L but LA Knight's out for three weeks. That's always great. Nope. And the main event's a four. Level four, level one, level three, level three, level one, McIntyre out for two weeks. At ECW, level four, level four, level one, level four, level three, level one. Jesus. ECW making some moves here. Let's get our final reviews here. Okay, so ECW gets 46,000 fans and $204,000. So 204-4518. WCW's got 123 for a score. That is a hell of a score. 54,000 fans in three and a quarter. 116 for a score. So 37,000 fans. And 200,000 for money. I'm almost scared, folks. I really am. 105. 25,000 fans. At least we're back up to 218,000. So we did get some decent revenue out of that. We do have a power card coming up that we can use to boost our fans 25%. So we will be doing okay there. This is the card I was talking about. So we still are in first place. We are, holy crap. Folks, I did not realize this. We are actually catching up on SmackDown or on Raw. We are now 60,000 out rather than 100,000 out. So we're slowly working our way back. We got some great champions in charge. We get Dijak back next week. We get uh, 
We got the new stadium, so the revenue is going to be coming in big time. And this week, I can start booking some matches that will give us some stars, and I can use that power card to move us forward and all that great stuff. So, but yeah, has per tradition, and the fact that well, I can't say that the game does save at this point now usually. But uh, let's go take a look at what is going to be coming up here next week as we set things up. San Jose, California. Three weeks to hold the cell. Final change is 1,000 fans. How do you feel? Final change was what? So we gained 4,000 and lost 6,000. Pers not the results I was expecting. Personally, I wouldn't use them again. Absolutely not. Oh, Darius, I can feel you here. Listen, I'm not feeling physically great. You know what? Serious injury. Might have it take two weeks off. Yes, let's get let's get him off for two weeks. Not giving him a health spa because I really don't need him right now. And Jay, oh, this is what I'm looking for. Nikita cheated me in that last match. I want to rematch in the next two weeks. Nikita Lions versus JC Jane. Yeah, I think that'd be a decent match. Schedule running this week. That will not be a problem. Let's see what stamina we got here. Oh, look at this. To get our last one for the call scene, we need half a million dollars in 10 assets. That will probably be a season four goal. Could you imagine that every match we do is at a WrestleMania level for some of the stuff we've had? So just to let you guys know what we're going to have coming up here. Okay, Nikita's there. JC's at 69 stamina. Nice. Yeah, I think we could have a regular match between those two. That'll be fine. So I will say we will have uh, the champion die jacket action this week because he's done a lot of work. We're probably going to have him against Lurch. See how that could go. Uh, we'll probably put in JCJ to key the Lions. That might actually be our main event next week. Uh, we do have to schedule a run in, so I'm probably going to put Gargano in this week. Well, we're going to have to see because we, uh, we don't have a lot of... Uh, I'm going to have to look over the stamina here. Let's quickly look over this. Die Jack, Bazer, Zade, Jade. Not a, everybody's not in a good mood for, for stamina wise. So what I might even do. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll talk about it. What's going to happen here uh, coming up coming up next week so let's uh bring it back here to a chag screen once again everybody thank you for sticking around for those on uh twitch hang out here a little bit we're gonna send a raid over right away uh and uh for those that are here on uh here on youtube make sure you hit the thumbs up button make sure you subscribe our videos come out specifically for ww2k24 uh by gm mode every tuesday and friday uh, 10 a.m. Eastern, 8 a.m. Mountain, uh, 7 Pacific for you West Coasters. Uh, but easy enough, just subscribe. And every time we have a video come out, it will show up on your uh, notifications as long as you click the bell. And uh, But uh, other than that, thank you, everybody, for stopping by here. Zodiac, always a pleasure. Mask, Keaton, always great having you here. I can't wait. Next week, we get to record at a decent time. So, uh, yeah. Thank you, everybody, for being here. And always remember, be part of the solution. Don't be part of the problem. And we'll see you all here next time on the Backbreaker Gaming YouTube channel. Take care, everybody.